this time, most of Europe is underwater, a shallow and warm sea. In the Middle Triassic, it's hot and dry on land with little to eat. In the sea, life flourishes again. Several reptile species have returned to the marine environment, thriving on the plentiful food supply. The Tanistrophius hold a world record. In proportion to their bodies, they have the longest necks ever recorded. With his flat teeth, this placodont mostly eats seashells and mollusks. Aren't those turtles? Not at all, but they too have developed a tough armor to keep them relatively safe from the great predators of the Triassic, like the Nothosaur. Over 13 feet long. Very dangerous. And an excellent swimmer. But it is no chance of catching up with a Mixosaurus. It looks like a dolphin. Except it's a reptile. Like marine mammals today, it too must come to the surface to breathe. It belongs to the large group of ichthyosaurs, which will rule the seas for some 150 million years. That one doesn't seem quite big enough to rule anything. There are also some very large ichthyosaurs, some measuring up to 75 feet long and weighing 50 tons, like the Shonosaurus, the biggest of them all. Wow. Like all ichthyosaurs, it lives in groups and mainly eats mollusks and small fish. and whales. That's right. They are even born in a similar manner. Strangely enough, the ichthyosaurs became extinct in the middle of the Cretaceous, despite their amazing adaptation to sea life. But how can we know so much about species that became extinct 90 million years ago? Perhaps because of the large number and the quality of fossils left. And, of course, thanks to those who discovered them. Save, perhaps, another Liapleurodon. Here is a pair of Lyopleurodon. The male is attempting to court the female. Look at her. 50 feet of sheer muscle, four deadly paddle-like limbs, and jaws about 10 feet long that hold teeth, even bigger than the one I gave you. Thank you. 
During this process, the male makes himself extremely vulnerable to the female. It seems to have worked. Now that she's chosen him as her partner, the pair needs to head to the safer coastal waters to reproduce. Like sharks, the male Liopleurodon holds on to the female while mating. Their young will be born in a few months. What happened? It seems that upon separating, she has accidentally injured his eye. The pain has made him lose consciousness for a while. In the end, though, the Liopleurodon remains a super predator that lives alone. The conclusion is inescapable. If they did not cross the ocean, then the very continents that contain their fossils must have separated. The Jurassic was the age of giant animals. The lead this is approximately 100 feet long, probably the largest fish of all time. What are these long-necked plesiosaurs called? Those are elasmosaurs. They're gulping down gastroliths, stones they swallow in order to help their digestion. So, what do they actually eat? Mollusks, and a lot of fish, judging from their long, sharp teeth. I believe that's the male Liopleurodon that was wounded some time back. Oh yes. With one eye missing, it's not easy.
From the deep bite marks on the Lasmosaur bones made by larger relatives, it would appear that other Lyopleurodon were luckier. 30 million years later, Chronosaurus took Lyopleurodon's place at the top of the marine food chain. Chronosaurus remains were first discovered in Australia during the 1930s. A 13-foot-long skull with 10-foot jaws armed with dagger-like teeth. To tell us more about plesiosaurs, here's Dr. Benjamin Keir, an Australian expert on these animals. Marine reptiles' remains have been found on every continent, particularly those of plesiosaurs. Up to 46 feet in length, they were magnificent ocean-dwelling reptiles that flew gracefully through the water with four massive paddles. The order Plesiosauria was large and varied. It's been broadly divided into two superfamilies based on their overall body structure. Some of them, thanks to their large heads and powerful short necks, were the super predators of their time, like Chronosaurus. Others were the complete opposite, with tiny heads at the end of extra long necks, such as Elasmosaurus. Plesiosaurs lasted as long as the dinosaurs, until the end of Cretaceous, 65 million years ago. The late Cretaceous is the very last period of the Mesozoic era, and it is the age of Mosasaurs. The land masses of the Earth have nearly reached their present positions. The interior seas of the Americas retreat but Europe is still partly covered by shallow waters. And what about the climate? Very comparable to the climate of today, but warmer. A beautiful day for a dip in the Cretaceous Ocean, don't you think? As has been the case for millions of years, mollusks are still a favorite meal for most predators. <laughs> 